July is National Ice Cream Month, but with summer temps continuing on into August, there's lots of opportunities to enjoy some local ice cream or frozen custard. Well, joining us now in the Daybreak Studio to tell us all about it is Wisconsin's 77th Allison Dairyland, Haley Hensel. Now, welcome to Daybreak, Haley. Thank Haley, you for having Sumi. me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you've been uh, Alice in Dairyland for just a couple of weeks. What's it been like so far? It has been wonderful. I've been traveling all over the state of Wisconsin. I made it down to Illinois, and here I am in Minnesota today. So I've hit three states. I've already put over 3,000 miles on my car, Tassie. Wow. And so it's been a lot of fun getting to meet consumers and producers and learning all about Wisconsin agriculture. Cool. And so um, with a few days left in the National Ice Cream Month, uh, how can we make our day sweeter from here going forward, I guess? No matter how you scoop it, Americans love ice cream. In fact, we're consuming about 12.1 pounds of ice cream per year. Wow. I'm happy to say I am above average on the statistic, <laughs> especially after the last two weeks. But across the United States, 85% of households are purchasing ice cream every year. So quite a few people love ice cream all across yes, the United States. Yes, unfortunately I eat it after 8 p.m. and it's not usually <laughs> the best time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> we have 46 dairy plants across Wisconsin that are producing frozen ice cream and other dairy novelty products. We do remember that when we are are supporting our local ice cream producers. We are also supporting our local dairy producers. And we have 6,000 dairy farmers in Wisconsin. 95% of those are family owned. That's amazing. That's a, that's a great stat to have actually. Yes. Um, but I understand that you can make ice cream with cheese? Yes, but that's just another day in America's dairy land. Oh, really? um, <laughs> the recipe I'm featuring this July is a blueberry no churn mascarpone cheese ice cream. Okay. So for those unfamiliar, mascarpone cheese is kind of like cream cheese. It's a little sweeter though, a little more decadent. I actually like to eat it with like Nilla wafer cookies. So As a dip? Yes, like okay. a dessert cheese. They even have a chocolate flavor, but for this I just use the plain white. And I mix it with a little heavy whipping cream, some sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and a little salt for flavor. Flavoring. And then for this recipe, I use frozen blueberries pureed. Otherwise, you could do Oreos or chocolate syrup or whatever toppings you like to mix in. Throw it in the freezer in an airtight container, scoop it, and you're ready to enjoy. You can, you can still enjoy it cold, too, I bet. Just, yeah. just, just try it, it out of the fridge. It is good just as it is, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, so, um, where can we find more information about National Ice Cream Month or just, uh, you know, your dairy land in general? Yeah, so if you'd like to find more recipes like this one and see the true stories behind Wisconsin dairy, you can visit wisconsincheese.com. I also like they have a great map for finding those local ice cream parlors all across the state of Wisconsin. I've been using it a lot in my travels. If you want to follow along with my journey as Alice in Dairyland, you can follow along on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as well as the alicendairyland.com website. Okay, well, there's a lot of local spots around here. Make sure you check them out before you roll out of here. Absolutely. Okay, so I think that's about all the time we have, Haley. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your time as Alice. I mean, I will. <laughs> all right, great.